So we ended up getting an easy clue scroll in the end of last video and I did need some mining requirements and some smithing requirements so that's where we're going to start this video and I hope you guys will enjoy it. There we go that's the 20 mining I needed so let's do the knight sword quest. So for the knight's sword quest you do actually need two iron bars and as you know I have one smithing so I can't really make that and someone just died. Please do not PK me. But apparently you can go to this place right here which I'm just at and you should be able to loot some iron bars. I'm not sure where though because I was looking around and I couldn't really find any. But I guess I'll just camp here and see if I can find any. Oh it's not inside of the graveyard, it's outside, left of it. So there you go, that's the iron bar. That's the weirdest place ever, please don't one shot me. Ah, uh, he probably can't, he's like level 21. So I guess I'll just world hop here I guess and then get the second one and then I can do the quest. This is going to be the end of the night sword quest, so let's see what smithing level we get. 12.7 thousand smithing experience, that should be enough. Let's see what level we got to. 29. That is absolutely enough. So let's just go and get that silver bar and then we'll make the tiara. And then we have to go to get a body talisman and then we can make that body tiara. So the way I decided to get a body talisman is just through killing some guards in Falador. It has a pretty good drop rate, it's pro like it's kind of weird because all of the items are uncommon but then these are common so it's probably the best way of getting one so I just got one real quick and now I'm going to head over to the tree no village to buy the pink robe top I think it's called. Yeah there you go the pink robe top and I already have the skirt so let's do that and try to complete the clue scroll. So I think the best thing I can do is that as soon as I get a new step where I need a requirement, like currently I'm farming a sapphire ring from these crawling hands, because it's actually a pretty good drop rate and I do need it for this clue. Now, instead of showing you guys every single time I get a new requirement, I'm just going to do the clue and then at the end of the clue say all the new things I needed to get. And if I complete a quest or something that I need to do, I will show that in the middle of completing it. So don't worry about that, but just to, you know, avoid me spamming you with clips. That's the easy casket obtained, so let's see what we get from this one. And we get a black plate body, an air staff, and some Lawrence. Well, I mean, Lawrence is decent. Actually, the black plate body is actually not that bad because I can sell it, as well as the, the best one I have is like this Iron Man gear. So I guess this is actually an upgrade, so not too bad. Absolutely no requirements for this easy clue scroll and I'm still actually 21 but 44 experience of 22 so we're actually getting a lot of clue scrolls which is really cool to do actually so and we get another black play body. Well that is a shitty clue I have to say. 23 thieving so we're definitely getting there so let's see what we get from this one and I just clicked use so there we go nine nature runes and a but we're getting so many black items I do not understand why. So we're actually closing up to 25 thieving but I do have an easy clue here and I needed to do one thing for this and that was pick up the sapphire in the wilderness and buy a ball of wool and then make the sapphire necklace that should be everything I did for that clue. And let's talk to Jatix and get the reward here hopefully it's something good that's going to be the casket let's open it real quick and see what we get. And we get wow that is how much is that worth 9k. I think I can't remember if I have any purple sweets, but if I if I don't have any, then that's the first ones I guess. Six easy clues that is. Let's do another one or see if we get another one before I hit 25 thieving that is. Well the answer to that is no. I didn't get another easy clue scroll, but I did hit 25 thieving and we now have all the requirements I need to be able to do the golem quest, so let's do that. Alright, that's the golem quest completed. Now the thing is I accidentally clicked away on the quest completed screen so I'm just going to show you guys that it's completed the golem quest and I got 1k crafting for it and 1k thieving so that was not too bad I guess I leveled 26 thieving but the thing is the quest shadow of the storm which I want to do now I have all the requirements for it it says you need the ability to kill a level 100 demon. I don't know if that's the same as with the demon slayer quest because in that quest it was like a level 37 or something and that had 7 HP so I don't know I will I'm, I'm going to try I'm going to try to do it if I cannot do it then I'm just going to have to level I guess more combat skills but hopefully I can do it and we can get that dark light. So I'm actually going to be fighting the boss from Shadow of the Storm. It has 100 HP. I looked up on the Vikia and it said 100 HP. And then its max hit is only 11. So I can actually get it twice max hit. And I still don't die because I have 29 HP. So I should be fine. The problem is if it's too hard for me to kill. Uh, when it comes to like I never hit it or anything. Then obviously I'm going to die. I brought a lot of lobsters. So I mean that should be decent. Its weakness is silver light and I have 
that, but the thing is, I don't know if it's like, you know, Silverlight's attack value is very low, so I might have to use the Mithril Scimitar if it's actually stronger, and then just finish it off with the Silverlight, I think that's how you did in the Demon Slayer quest, well, I don't know if you had the Silverlight by then, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, overall, I think we might be able to do it. Uh, as I don't get one shot by it or like constantly get hit for 20s, I might be able to do it. My current gear is just really bad. Like, <laughs> my Amulet of Magic is not going to do anything. And Ardoin Cloak is decent, I guess, but the Black Play Body is like the strongest thing I have, except my Black Shield, which I got from uh, Easy Clue Scroll. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully, I do not die. Yeah, unfortunately, I am not going to be killing this demon. I don't know how I'm going to live now because I don't have any teleports, unfortunately, but yeah, it's hitting me consistently for like eights or nines and I'm not hitting it for shit. So yeah, unfortunately, I guess I'm going to have to try to do this with higher melee stats in the future. But for now, I don't really think I can do this. Well, I know for sure I can't do this. Like my max, it is like two or three something and it keeps, keeps hitting me for shit tons like it's doing now. So I think the only way I can leave this is like maybe enter the portal here and let's see if I can do that. Maybe it's possible to walk it, but I'm not very good at that. So I'm not going to be doing that. And yeah, it seems, uh, it seems like I could just walk out. So unfortunately, this is not something I can do now. But I'm at the end of the quest, so whenever I feel like I can do it, then I'll go for it, you know? Yes, I do realize that this quest right here that I'm doing, I could have done to just get 9 Slayer and then after that kill like one creature or anything from a Slayer assignment and I would have 10 Slayer. The thing is, having 10 Slayer and then after that don't care about Slayer and just do all the prerequisites for a Recipe for Disaster, I'm not going to have the combat level to be able to do Recipe for Disaster or the Shadow of the Storm quest, which I wanna do. So overall Slayer is just very beneficial, so anyways I'm doing this now and I'm I'm going to get 9 Hunter from that and 14 Slayer, there we go. I don't know if you get any quest points for this, I'm not sure if it's actually a quest. No, you didn't. Alright, so I'm still at 21 quest points. The thing is, what I want to kind of go for now as the next bigger goal is actually Dragon Slayer. So I need 11 more quest points and I think I'm just going to be doing like, you know, easy free-to-play quests or just easy member quests that give me some quest points. There's probably some quests that gives like 3 quest points and it's like super super easy. So I'm going to look into what kind of quest that is and maybe there are some prerequisites for Recipe for Disaster that is really easy that I can just do real quick. But I kind of want to do Dragon Slayer because I think it gives a good amount of experience as well as gives access to rune, uh, rune eye play bodies and green dehyde bodies, which are obviously good. And everyone knows that Dragon Slayer is like one of those milestones you kind of need, and it's very beneficial for the account. And it is in the end also a prerequisite for recipe for disaster so that's why i'm going to be doing some quests now or that's what i'm going to be questing for and hopefully we can do that quest real soon so I thought a good quest to complete was the murder mystery one, it gives 3 quest points, which is actually quite a lot, 2000 coins and 1.4k crafting experience, and it's 2 minute quest, really easy to do, so I don't know if I'm going to get any levels here, nope, I did not, unfortunately, how close am I to 39, 560 experience off, alright, that's pretty close, but overall, pretty good rewards for that, actually 2000 coins is quite a bit from what I currently have, and 3 quest points is absolutely amazing. I'm going to be doing the Vampire Slayer quest, but I just went to the general store to buy a hammer, and what the actual fuck? 106k longbows, 209k will longbows, 120k oak shortbows, and then like randomly- dude, what? Lantern lens? What's going on? Like, is this- an Iron Man crafting all of this and selling it to the store? But what? Like, it gives like zero GP, doesn't it? Alright, I've never seen this before, but uh, that's a cool screenshot to take. I could actually have done this quest before the waterfall quest, I reckon, because this was the most easy boss fight I've ever seen in my entire life. Its max hit was 3. Yeah, even if you have 10 HP, you cannot get 3 shot by this. So yeah, it was very easy and it gives a 4.8k attack experience and the main thing, quest points. And it gives 3 of them, which is absolutely amazing, so I... Yeah, I did get 3 attack levels for that, that's not bad at all. And uh, we overall have 27 quest points, so I need 5 more, and then we can do Dragon Slayer, which is very awesome. Now, this is something that I find really strange. Why would the quest Goblin Diplomacy that takes like 2 minutes to complete, or if you've already prepared everything, it takes like 30 seconds, it gives 5 quest points. 
Now I'm not complaining because 5 quest points is exactly what I needed to be able to do Dragon Slayer, but I just think it's rather weird design where one quest takes 15 minutes to do it gives 1 quest point and then another one that takes 30 seconds to do rewards 5. So I don't know if that's like a free to play quest reward thingy where they just like to give more quest points for free to play quests. But hey, I, I don't complain too much. 5 quest points is all I needed to get 32 to be able to do Dragon Slayer. But I'm not sure if I can do it just yet with my combat stats. I'm going to have to look into that. Maybe I'll have to do some Slayer. I'm not sure exactly, but I do have the quest point requirements to be able to do Dragon Slayer now. But for now, this is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of these type of videos or get notified when I post another one, then you can subscribe to the channel. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.